Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! I was kind of hoping... Oh, there they go, they got their food now. They figured it out. I was kind of hoping to get the... enough hearts to level up before we had to finish the thing. But, I don't see us getting it right away. So we're just gonna have to farm the last of our wheat to complete our mission. While I was waiting on everything, I went around and I grinded a little bit, didn't get much experience. I also got some supplies, like stone. I mean, maybe. It's all creation. Ah, oh, jeez, look at that! Yeah! Big old lollipop tree, looks great. Dang it. Friggin' Malroth stepping up, though. Just ran right forward. No, nah, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I mean, for a Dia tree, I've, I've seen better trees. For something called the Dia tree, I can only assume. I can't say. His little pictures are so cute. Look at him. I'm just so happy just working away. Oh no. Are they moving during the cutscene? Because that's going to be pretty crappy. No, they're just chilling. Okay. So, as the town levels up and as you complete the main story, the enemies around town will get stronger. Additionally, the... You'll periodically get attacked. So let's go! And here we are getting attacked! If I could just friggin' draw their attention, hey, you wanna like... Oh my goodness. See, they try to, like, wreck your crops is the irritating thing. And they made me harvest my crops prematurely, you monsters! The nice thing about these attacks, though, is that that generally mean, or you generally get some seeds out of it. Okay, so we did it, though! Hooray! Oh, just eight more to go. Two to go! Someone poop out a heart! Ah, bam! Ring a that bell! I like how zoomed away the camera was, but you still just saw everybody kind of running across the whole town to get to the bell.
Okay, so they just kind of got better at doing what they already did, which is cool, I guess. Oh man, more people showed up! How are you guys doing? And I learned how to make all this neat stuff! Look at this, I can make a cool floor. A padded floor? Ooh. A drapery door, so it's like a door, but you can just kind of push it out of the way. Real nice lighting. Mmm. Yeah, how are you guys doing? It's just some sinning. I almost feel bad, like, I kind of feel like I'm hypnotizing these people. Don't worry, the children already know. And this is kind of neat, because it's a way to, like, drastically expand the town. But you don't have to give every character this huge amount of depth. Sometimes you just need some NPCs. So you get like these three showing up, they don't even have names. You talk to them, they don't even talk to you. They just go, hey. trying to help out and farm things. Alright, so now that that's done, we've actually leveled up to town. I'm, I was thinking this would be around the time Duderson McGee would be willing to tell us what our next stage of the plan is, but I guess we gotta talk to Brittany first. That is absolutely true. Don't worry, you got me and Malroth. I mean, I can make stone swords. I've already done that. Oh, I forgot to make Malroth his axe! Exactly. So this is funny, because, like, Hargon was the main antagonist of Dragon Quest II. Uh, he's the one who summoned Malroth. Everyone summons Hargon, but, like, nobody's actually seen Hargon? And he's kind of supposed to be dead? And even who we met on the boat, they were just like, nah, we're following his ways even though we know he's dead. But like, what's going on here? These guys don't know what's up.
Hmm. So we were attacked, and we're about to get attacked harder. So it doesn't even... You see I'm level 2 now. It doesn't even give you a number to level 3 when you're just unreasonably far away. So something to keep in mind. We just made that sword and gave it to Brittany. That's totally something that happened just a second ago. If you look at everybody else here, a lot of people are cowering. These people are not going to fight. But some people are stretching. They're ready for action. Give these people weapons. Let's go make some weapons. I don't know how many of these I need. Let's make four, and we'll go from there. Also, we gotta make Malaroth's axe. So just like in Builders 1, periodically you'll get the actual proper assault on the town. Nothing to sneeze at. Not your regular little duders wandering up. And Malroth is the one who knows it's coming, and he's the one ready to give it give it going. Careful with that. See, this is neat, because everything else that you make for anybody, they'll discard their old one and give it back to you. But Malaroth keeps that first thing. Okay, we also got some of these we can give. Here you go, Bonanzo. Here you go, Reliable Rancher. They're ready to go. Clayton here is ready, too. Like, he's not stretching, but he's not cowering. And I made one too many swords. That's fine. We're fine. Let's go. Already done. Hey, um, Pastor, so aren't you with the children of Hargon? Why is this crap going on? I love the graphics, like the big old elaborate- Yeah, let's go! Dang it. There's more! So gonna be waves, you see right there, it's, um, defeat the enemy, 8 of 22. So, same thing like Builders 1, you do get your little, uh, do get a countdown of what all you have to deal with. Okay, we did it! Nope, we still got 10 guys left. Taking out the mages first, because they're the annoying ones. They're squishy, generally, so they go down quicker. And they're more annoying. We'll let Malroth tank. Okay, a couple more. Wow, he's big. See, somebody's got to tank the big guy while I kind of sneak around and back and thin the herd. You know what, I'm gonna get off of that sword so I stop seeing that, like, give to Clayton prompt. And all the guys are smart enough, they know, like, he's charging up, get away from him! It's kind of hard to tell who he's going to attack. It just is sometimes. But it's fine. 
Yeah, we did it. Hey. Man, that was a lot of experience, the grinding. Like, I was grinding and getting nowhere. Oh, man. We did it. Heck yeah. Like that high five, man. Just like... I mean, we knew, kind of knew that was the plan anyway. I mean, I haven't been paying attention to him. Y'all sleep. Malra's just like, I can't kill him. Only the most comfortable of beds. I'm good, but thanks. So it's kind of a really small thing, but in Builders 1, whenever the game, like, faded to black like that, it didn't fade entirely to black. So you could still see everybody just kind of standing around, and it was a little awkward when it's like, everybody's sleeping and partying and having a great time, and you're like, no, I'm not. I'm just standing there. I can see me. Haven't seen nothing yet. I mean, they seem to like destruction, and not like me, because I'm pretty... I don't know, you'd think we'd get along. I make things, they destroy them. We can work, we can work together. Yeah, that was kind of the plot of Dragon Quest II. Yeah, they were... Like, a boat full of a couple of rogue guys. They were on the down and out. And now they're running the show. Yeah, that's, that's a good one, too. Look, I woke up early so I could chat for a little while. That way we can still get to work at a normal time. I mean, I guess. I'm gonna go make that barbed blade, though. That's over here. At the anvil. Crap, I need brambles. I guess I'm not doing that thing that I said. All right. What do you got for me? She's cute. I can't keep being angsty. She's too cheerful. Hey, you know, I think the pasture may be kind of starting to come around. Yeah, I think he's starting to come around. Like, he was pretty pro. No, make it bigger so I can explode it more later.
Oh, well, we knew it was gonna happen, I guess. Oh man, right next to the crops. Sure will. Yeah, just suffocate him. Well, I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have to tackle that problem eventually. Alright, block them on every side. Easy to do. You see one, you put it down. Boop. 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 But it's hard to see, but there's also a little, like, vent on top of them. So all five sides completely encase them so they can't breathe. What's real nice is when you do this, they blow up the blocks surrounding them as well. Which means you don't have to worry about, like, breaking the soil or having dumb patches around the land. Like, you can just knock them out. And then you're done. And you get a seed for it! Uh, usually wheat? Okay, so that was two. We got three over here. Now the frustrating thing is when it shows up like in the middle of all your crops. A little harder to get rid of them. But hey, they're introducing a new deal. They're showing you what you gotta do to get rid of them. And just a heads up, you're gonna have to keep dealing with them. It's getting harder and harder to farm around these parts. Well, those five anyway. So it's not a constant thing, it's just a thing that happens every now and then. No, that was Rosie that said that, actually. <laughs> so this is neat, because he's like, Yes, build it stronger, make everything nicer, so I can destroy it when it's super good. And then, like, as it gets stronger and nicer, he starts going like, Ah, yes, ah, this is, this is, this isn't bad, actually.
Part two. That's a lot of crops. That's a lot of crops. Where do you start? <laughs> Good old Pastor Al. Yay! He doesn't do jack. <laughs> Just a heads up. Yep, got work to do. Oh, we only got the one, we only got the one mission. It's a dog! It's a dog, look at him! Look at that little pupper! You mean this tiny little woofer? <laughs> Heck yeah! Until next time, everyone! We're gonna follow the tiny pupper! And it's gonna take us to seeds! And I'm really hungry.